Now in this part then what we've got to do is find the exact value of the sine of angle A. And we've already discovered that cosine A is 3 quarters and there's two ways that spring to mind that we could do this. One way is to draw a triangle. Let's just draw a triangle like this, a right angle triangle that is. It's not drawn to scale but essentially if this were angle A here okay in a right angle triangle then cosine is always the adjacent side over the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is three units say which is this side here and the hypotenuse would this be this one that would be four we're looking at a ratio here okay so for every three in this direction the hypotenuse would be four units now we could use Pythagoras' theorem to get this side, the opposite side of the triangle. And by Pythagoras' theorem, this side would be the square root of the hypotenuse squared, 4 squared, minus this shorter side here, squared. So what you've got is square root of 16 minus 9, which is square root of 7. So when it comes to working out the sine of A, sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So therefore we would have sine of angle A equals the opposite side, root 7 over 4. And that's our exact value. Now I did say that there was another way that we could do this and the other way that springs to mind is that you should know the identity sine squared of an angle, let's say A in this case, plus cos squared of an angle, of the same angle, that is, comes to 1. So therefore, we've got sine squared of A must be equal to 1 minus cos squared A if we just subtract cos squared A from both sides. Now, we know what cosine of A is it's 3 quarters so we could say this is 1 minus 3 quarters all squared and if you do that calculation what you've got is 1 take away 9 sixteenths which is 7 sixteenths so therefore what we have is sine A must be the square root of 7 sixteenths and if we square root the top, well we can't really square root the top, so if we just leave it as square root of 7, we can square root the bottom, square root of 16 is 4. And we have root 7 over 4. Now normally when you square root something you'd have plus or minus. But knowing that this is an acute angle, okay, the sign of any acute angle would always be plus. Okay? If you had a minus here it would mean that A was more than 90 degrees and it would be an obtuse angle. Well it just isn't an obtuse angle. Okay? So we do take the plus option. So sine of A then equals root 7 over 4. So either way, I much prefer this way though, I must admit, either way you should be able to come up with the exact value of sine A as root 7 over 4. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this question.